Anyways, last week I realized that I didn't do I didn't do intro. Well Welcome to what we say in pod. It's your boy Hustle Hustler. We're joined my co-host T9 in the building. What you saying? This is joined my other co-host, the man behind the scenes, the man behind the camera. He has no face, but his name, his name is Benzo. Yo. Now nah, that don't ring no more. Yeah. You, go, you just gotta change the rhythm, yeah, bro. I gotta change it too. I gotta change it too. Maybe you can add a little bit more emphasis to the result. You know what I mean? Just an idea, mate. Huh? So you can add a little bit more emphasis to the result. Ben, um, he has no face, but his name is Ben Zo. Oh yeah, Bez, yeah, makes sense. You know what I mean? Bez, 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 Bez. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, man. Episode 148 of the What We Say in Podcast. It's, what, it's 148, right? Yeah, it's 148. So I'm finally out of office, man. I'm out of office for the rest of the month. Oh, what God. do you mean? I'm out of office, bro. What does that mean? Off work. What do you mean, what does that... You know what that means, bro. Out of office. On Teams, out of office. You never seen Oh, that. you've put that? Yeah. Oh, you took Monday off? Have, yeah, Monday's off still, yeah. I didn't Monday off. Yeah. Day before, you never know. Last minute. Any <laughs> shenanigans and that. Yeah, nah. There ain't no Trims last minute. and that. You know what I mean? You ain't no last that. minute for me. Nah, yeah. I can see that it's white house, though. Yeah, bro, I told you. I told you. Maybe, like, as time goes on. Nah, I can see the top as well, but the bottom is just a bit, like... Because the top white and the bottom is a... Hmm, hmm, hmm. But to be fair, when you talk, normally it's your top on show. Yeah, you can't see my bottom yeah, one like that. So it's not that deep, bro. It's... For those that are listening, um, I was talking about my teeth. Literally went to go and white them today. For the holiday we're going on. I literally just came straight from there. Yeah, Storm. And bro, my ways was talking about one hour fifteen. From there. <laughs> no, yeah, bro, it was long. It was long. I went all the way through central. I was thinking our oh, congestion charge, but it was like seven PM. And I think the cut off is like six. I don't know. But yeah, like one hour fifteen. And I got it like maybe fifteen minutes before you lot. And the lady was like, We can't eat until two hours after it's done. And I hadn't eaten when I, when I got there. So now, I'm here on an empty stomach. I haven't eaten since like 9.30 this morning. It's mad. <laughs> what are you doing? Fasting? <laughs> You'd think. 9.30, no, that's 12 hours. You'd think, bro, honestly, that's it's 12 mad. hours. Though. But I, I, when I'm at yard, I don't really eat as well as I should in comparison when, when I go into the office. Because when I go into the office, I'll eat breakfast, I'll eat lunch. At least those two are sorted. Then when I get home... I'm hungry, but like I can do, I can manage, but then I'll eat late, maybe 10, 11. Just... I, don't, I just, I've started to just neglect certain rules with my meals, bro. Like today I had pasta bolognese for breakfast. What time is breakfast? 9.30, you said? Yeah, 9.30, bro. Nah, that's too heavy. No, but I think that's why I survived on that meal alone. Yeah, because the carbs had energy. The carbs, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But at the same time, I shouldn't really, I'm not trying to eat too many carbs because I don't want to gain too much that's like that, bro. Just protein. No, after next week, boy, man, straight on bulking. But like, you lot will think I'm getting fat. Like, you see how you can see a cut in my ch- my cheekbone here. Mm. That's going. That's going. Everything's going, bro. All the abs, everything's going. The way I've been working in that gym for abs, though, boy, I've never done cardio that much. Never done ab workout that much. But I didn't do it today. I'll do it tomorrow, though. I'll mm. do it tomorrow, I'll do it Sunday, I'll do it Monday. Bang. Mm. Cardio, then I'll go at my optimum. You know what I mean? I was thinking, in that sort of country, is it against their rules to just be roaming the streets topless? I don't know. I actually don't know. I've only ever heard that in Dubai, it's like girls, girls that are yeah, monitored yeah. with their clothing or whatever. Yeah, I only yeah. really heard of the guys. Oh no. But yeah, sport the beans, that's what we'll be flying to next week. My time I don't know. <laughs> My time says that we won't even be gone to be fair. No, we won't be gone, we'll be gone then. We'll be gone the morning after that. Yeah, but still. we're even here again Monday now. <laughs> you might <have> forgot. <laughs> oh, give me strength, man. <laughs> oh my days, I actually forgot about that. We're here again in three days, man. Oh, I actually forgot about that. Oh my yeah, days. Yeah, man. Word, Yo, that drive is actually like a blur right now, you know? Like, Bro, I actually do it's like, just, it just, I don't know, like I switch off or something. Like, yeah, I it. can't lie, part of my brain is actually switched off. Like, my brain switched on right now, but yeah. bro, part of my brain actually switched off, bro. 
I don't remember nothing of that drive storm. Bro, Domino's. What about Domino's? They got rid of the garlic sauce. Why? Because apparently they found elements of nuts in there. So obviously for allergy reasons, they've withdrawn all the supplies throughout the UK. <laughs> because someone ate it and started getting an itchy mouth or something like that. <laughs> the way they're about to sue that Domino's. Yeah, that the, person's the about drink to they will make. That's a come up for that person. Still. That's a come up storm. But I ordered it on Monday... And they said, oh, it's out of stock. And I said, you know what? Cool. Meteor, barbecue base. I don't need the garlic sauce. Bro, that's the worst decision I've ever made. One of... Like, I'm never ordering it again until that garlic sauce comes back. Well, like, it was that bad? Yeah. Like, I can't eat Domino's without that sauce, bro. That's you know, I'm not even on a Domino's thing no more. I'm on pizza. Have they got sauce, though? I don't, I don't understand how guys... Maybe it's Domino's, but I, I can't eat pizza without sauce unless it's straight from Italy, bro. Nah, I can eat pizza without sauce. Nah, it's dead still. It's actually it's dead. literally sauce in the pizza, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's literally what I need. Nah. I don't even... For the barbecue base? Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll even do tomorrow base. Can you eat tomorrow base pizza? Mmm. Yeah. Because barbecue base wasn't always around. We it ate. wasn't always around, but when it, it came around, around I yeah. never really went back. Yeah, but I can still eat it. If it's there, I can't I I've it. never gone back. I don't even it's... like pizza like that, bro. Nah, no, yes. pizza goes down still. I've been honest. Nah, man. Pizza Heart. Pe- pizza Heart goes down still, so I'll be honest. What toppings? <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, Pause nice, the, nice, The nice. meaty one. Nice, nice, nice. About five different meats in it. Of course you enjoy that bro. That same one that PT went to that he was complaining at. Yeah, that he bro, threw it away. Bro, he's chatting, man. That place is garrison. Never never giving me a bellyache, bro. Large pizza? Yeah, still. So I finished that in. I bro. can't finish a large pizza anymore. Still. Yeah, you're bugging, bro. I Domino's, finish... Domino's, though. Domino's. Though. It's the same. It's not the same. Is it the same? Yeah, but I mean, like 10 slices, though. Oh, yeah, 10 slices, then first, yeah. Bro, I finish a, I'll finish a large pizza in less than 30 minutes, bro. Now, that is wild, bro. Bro, I swear to God. That is 10 slices in 30 minutes. Bro, Slice I'll every finish. three minutes. Mate. Easy. Easy work. And the pizza's 10 pounds, bro. Okay, that's... It's actually 10 pounds now. Now I'm understanding, because Domino's large pizza, you're looking at 20 both min. Do you know what I mean? Like, I ain't ordering no... I'm not ordering Domino's again, bro. Nah, it's actually straight Pizza Hut. And they do deals, like, bro, two for £20, bro. Like, man, it's good with Delivery that. or pick up? Nah, pick up. Delivery will be an extra, like, four quid. Uh... Do you know what I mean? Well, that's... that's. I'm even thinking of getting that. Mm. Bro, relax, man. This guy just came off Amala and Stu and then KFC and now Domino's, bro. I ain't really ate too much throw today, you know? the good work you've done in the abs, bro, like... Just take it easy, fam. Take it, who's this? Take it easy, bro. Well, yeah, how are you lot s- weeks going? It's Friday. I shack it tomorrow. You're not going, are you? Why well, don't you, listen, you it, listen to him, though, innit? Barely. I don't, I don't listen. I listen to his bangers. I don't listen to him. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? First, first, first. I hear it still. I didn't go to the last one, so I said, yeah, I can't miss this one. I feel like the whole of... Mate, yeah, everyone's going to be there. Mate, the, the girl that did our teeth whitening was talking about a fact. No, she was talking about something else. No, I, was, I got confused. But yeah, there's a lot of people going, isn't it? There's a lot of people going. I swear his one, his last concert was the one where no. they had to no. lock off. What do, you, what do you mean? You don't no. know what I'm about to I do. say. You're talking about Brixton, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's not his last one. Okay, that's not his last one, but that was... Wait, wait so he's done another one since then yeah, in London. Yeah, the O2, bro. In last, London? Yeah, last year. When was the Brixton thing? That was the year before. Or the say, or the beginning of that year. It was either the beginning of 23 or the end of 22. Because he did 02 last summer. Did he? Yeah. Were well, you not there? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Because there was even controversy about they didn't pay enough of a tribute to the girl that lost her life. The black lady that has children. Oh. There the, was some sort of controversy. The last one's where that. he dipped, didn't it? Where he just... Yeah, he was on and off stage and there yeah. was... They yeah. say he's coming back and he then yeah, come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. That was no, he song. came back. But he's talking about the show, though. That's what he's talking about. Oh, fair enough. No, no, he came back, yeah. But like they stopped the music or something, or they turned on the lights or something. Yeah, he, like the one that he came down from a hol- helicopter. Yeah, that's yeah, what, that was the last one. Yeah. First. So yeah, he came off the helicopter, kind of performed. It was, it was all right. I enjoyed that kind of. Then yeah, he said he's coming back. Music turned off. Everyone's like confused. What's going on? And you know, he came back and performed Joa. I would have gone off though. Yeah, I don't want 50 pounds. 
one. Yeah, I literally bet with my boy at the concert. Like, like whilst it was live. Last song's gonna be drawn. No, no, no. I bet like yo, like Joe was gonna be played, but like it was, it was coming to like the end. It was like, bro, like he ain't played it. Yeah. And I didn't even like. I was thinking like, bro, like I ain't heard the Joe yet, but yeah. like I went really deep in it. Yeah. The next, you know, the last one was Joe, and that was what I put my money on, bro. One fifty. No, fifty fifty. Oh, oh. Fifty. Say, Quick yes. pinks. Wonder. Grab that, yank that. You ain't even sort out what we're doing after that. We. Fair, man. I'll happily go yard, man. Next week's going to be a flipping... <laughs> Entertainment. Flipping... I don't even know what to call it. Roller coaster. We even call it that. Ups and downs. Oh, shoot, is there any downs? I'm only downs, to be fair. No downs. No. They're just saying it's going to be hot. Humid, even. Enjoy that, man. It's better than here. You won't catch a cold. But you somehow did... Ah, oh, damn. Hmm? You got rid of that cold though, innit? Easy. With that thing. Lems- oh no, no. no. Su- Suda, what's it? Suda Satin. Su- Suda Fed, yeah. Suda Fed. Are you, oh, the, the tablets, innit? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I, I backed it, I backed to, oh no, I backed to four that day. I backed two at work, back two just before sleep, woke up next day, nose is unblocked. But I feel like you can still hear that I've got mucus like, in my system. So that's the one thing I'm trying to get rid of. Not over. really. It was worse last week. No, yeah. Definitely worse last week. But now it's like, it's just all right. Mm. But yeah, do you lot... You see that shits and gigs thing, yeah? yeah. There are people talking about, uh, obviously, the whole situation has gone a bit worse than what it was last week. Last mm. week, I think... What I don't remember what we were saying about it last week, that they were apologised, right? We said that, right? I don't think we mentioned the apology. No, apology went out by then. We mentioned... What did we mention last week? That's what I'm saying. I can't, I can't remember. Was it the controversy about what they said about black women? Nah, they can't have been. That came out this week. No, it was about um. Oh um. Oh, skip was it not about Atlanta? And... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That. They said there oh, was no yeah. leg women in Atlanta. Yeah, still. But then this week it just went to a whole different this level, year bro. It's just mad. BBC News, the whole shebang, everywhere, bro. But I'll be real, yeah. Nah. Playing, playing like, ah, right, cool. Let's 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 start from the book, the the top in it. I feel like, like the apology they did shouldn't have been the way they did it. I think. Oh, you start from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, start from the start, innit? Because okay, we ain't talk about that, innit? Yeah. So how they apologize? I don't think it should have been like live like this, personally. Mm. Wait, it was live. Not live, oh, but like, I was gonna it's say. like it's recorded, but like yeah. they're talking as if we're, like you're doing an apology right now. Yeah. I think I don't think it should have been like that. I should have. I think it should have been a thing of put a statement out or something. Do you know what I mean? So that you can't be judged on how you look, because then everyone started looking at how they were saying, how they were saying it. Their eyes aren't looking at the camera. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's too many things that could go wrong with that, and it did go wrong. Do you know what I mean? That's why they deleted it. Mm. Then. I didn't hear them actually say sorry, by the way. I didn't, I didn't. I, I heard didn't. them say, oh, yeah, we effed it. Yeah. I heard that towards the end. And then people were talking about the same thing on Twitter, saying, we just heard them say they effed it. Like, what kind of sympathy is that? Yeah. Right. I don't know. To be, to be very honest with you, I don't even know what happened on the Andrew podcast, Andrew Schultz. Bro, long story short, I don't know who started it, but I know Fu had made, it wasn't a joke, they were talking about stereotypes and Fu had said, oh, Nigerians stereotypically are known for being scammers. And then someone said, why? He was like, because they need the money. People didn't like that. I to be honest, that. I don't think that was the worst thing in the world. But I can see why there's controversy behind that. And then they started talking about hair, about how men who aren't black, who marry black women, start to grow up as a result of that. Yeah. So they might get fades, tats, yeah, somewhat glow up in some whatever, whatever aspect in it. And then Andrew then said, Oh, they start to lose hair, that's why they get fades or something like that. So he just yeah. said something slick, trying to imply that they lose hair because they're stressed because they're black women there. Yeah, yeah. so he's sort of saying that. they're what's the word? They're aggressive, yeah, and they cause stress or whatever. And at that point, no one they're laughing or something like that, yeah. And then he said something else to double down on it. And they laughed again. They sort of brushed it. Did you say the bid one? Yeah, what, a part of that? Black guys? <laughs> that, they, the, 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 up. the white guys will grow 
It's the white guys, you know, not black guys. I said non-black guys, isn't it? Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah. That they grow beards. My man said, oh, they grow beards so that something about when they slap them, it crushes Yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy's yeah, bugging yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so guy was bugging out. Yeah. But yeah. he was paying when black women to be out something that they're not really, well, in, as black, as the black women we know them, as, yeah, he was, was, it was just weird. It was just a bit weird. It was but sort of defacing. Yeah, it was just a bit weird. As like, a whole, to be honest. Like, do I mean, I, I do feel like, and we spoke about this before, comedy is not where it used to be, I would say. So people can't make certain jokes or you can't be somebody and make a certain joke, I think personally. But obviously, everyone has their different opinions on that, isn't it? But for me... I personally don't think they should have really apologised. I think they should have just aired it or not said anything because them saying something has just made it worse. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. I don't get the whole make an apology to then delete it. I don't get the whole deleting a hundred first hundred episodes. Nah, you're just, I feel like they're just making it worse for themselves. Yeah. And I feel like the fact that they weren't even the ones that made the joke but they're the ones getting scrutinised more than yeah. the Andrew guy. It's like, what the heck? Do you know what I mean? And then yeah. the worst thing is that they threw Andrew under the bus first. Let, uh, let's make that clear. They threw him under the bus first. Yeah, They did. Because when they were talking about the whole, like, he must have said something like, oh, um, they thought they would be the guys that, like, if somebody made a joke like that, they would be the ones slapping the cameras down and getting onto my man. Yeah, James said that, yeah. I'm like, brother, that... Uh, you didn't do that didn't though. Do so what that, were we talking about? Right. And then they were just they were like pinning bare blame on Andrew. You know? And then when my man reacted to it, he's like, "Yo, like you might ask me to edit stuff out, and I did, but you didn't ask me to edit this out." Yeah, do you know what I mean, so I like, swear. yeah, bro, I never saw that. Too, no, I saw bro. it. I saw it on TikTok. I think so. I was like, bro, like if you look actually like like I saw. I even saw another podcast. I can't remember their names. It's an Asian guy and a black guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I mean. They they reacted to it as well. And they're like, yo, like... Talking sheet, something like that. Huh? Talking sheet, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I think, I think but, that's them, but go on. But they're basically... Oh, is that the name? I think so, isn't it? What did you call it? Talking sheet. That's part of their name, I'm sure it is. I don't remember. Like, their name is like Josh and something talking... I don't remember. I have no clue. Go on, count, count, count. But... Yeah, like, I feel like you've apologised... When in reality, what is like, bro? Like, it's hard to it's hard to navigate. To them. Yeah, yeah, it's them, it's them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to navigate what they actually thought now because like you've laughed at a joke and you've also now apologized for laughing and said it's wrong. It's like what 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 side of defense are you standing on? Do you know what I mean? And it's also a thing where if people didn't make a fuss about it, would you have made a fuss you, about would it? Would you have made a fuss about it? Would you have? said sorry or would you have deleted 100 episodes and also they didn't ask for that bit to be edited out which yeah. means you saw that and thought no that's it's calm. right yeah you know that, what I mean so I just feel like it's not adding up I feel like they've been pressured into thinking maybe they've they've done something wrong when in reality nah I think the only thing they did wrong and like they laughed at the joke but I feel like there's I'm not saying they should have been like, oh, like, don't laugh at a joke yeah. and defend black women straight away. But, like, Andrew was making a generalised joke about black women. Like, them, all you have to do is laugh at a joke, but just be like, oh, but that's not all. Not black, all black that's women. That's not all yeah. black women type mm. thing. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, True. he was generalising, just that defend them a bit. Do you know exactly? Just something small like that. So, and they should have known to do that. They, I feel like they should have known to do that. Thing is, yeah. One of the men was even saying that apparently... Andrew Shaw's is known for saying controversial things yeah. on his podcast anyway, so then why were they there in the first place? Bro, that's a, a fair point. That whole American right? tour for them was just terrible. I thought it was terrible, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was, I don't think there was one good episode I, I heard or I saw. I watched the, the poor man's one. It wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't that bad, but I, was, I sort of got the point of what you were saying. I thought it was crap. Like, it felt a little bit question answer question yeah, answer I know like, yeah, I just felt I like there was crap before. I didn't feel like there was a connection or chemistry there yeah, with them I'd be so on it three shots one like, yeah no impossible chance. No chance impossible but yeah like my my only like gripe like I don't even know what that means but my only like view on this is like cool 
if you're going to stand on something, stand on it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my first issue. My second issue is with just, in general, comedy. What is allowed to be made fun of nowadays? Mm. That's, that's the only thing I don't really get. Mm. Like, cool, I get it. I don't know, maybe because he's, he's, he's white. Maybe that's another reason as to why it's like, why are you letting a white man make a joke like this? Like, yeah. maybe, maybe that's the other thing. But like, for me, like, if I want to make a joke about black women... I'm going to make a joke but make it clear that it's a joke. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like... Or even if it's not black women, I can make a joke about white women. I can, like, I can make a joke about any race because, like... If I was a comedian, by the way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I can make a joke and, but, like, at least let it be known that it's a joke. Like, and I don't... I don't that's the only thing I don't really see an issue with. Do you know what I mean? Like... The thing is, yeah, I think a key difference here is that if he'd said that on stage doing stand-up, the would backlash that have been wouldn't an be issue? there. I don't the feel like that would have been, been an there, issue. That's the only thing. Because comedians have said stuff like that or worse mm -hmm. and the audience is laughing. Yeah, like there's that's the only thing I don't really get. on Twitter talking about X, Y, Z. It's because he said something and there were people in the room who are black, yeah. like the black women, that didn't stand up for them. That's yeah. where the problem is. And apparently most of their listening base or watching base is yeah. black women as well. Yeah. I don't know. So, I feel like it just was just a build up of things and that was just like, the tip of the the ice what was it called iceberg or yeah, I don't yeah. even know. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's just what it was because it led up from the there's no baddies in Atlanta to I think there was another clip going around. I can't. I'm not 100 percent sure. That was an old one. I think. Do you know what I mean that was an old one? And then this was the the third one. Do you know what I mean three strikes out? Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like that's just what it was. But in like, if you just pull up this just one clip and be like, bro, like, Andrew made this joke. I don't think they would target um, shits and gigs. I feel like they would be like, yo, why are you, like, why are you letting my man make jokes? Mm. Like, why is my man making jokes about black women? Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's the only thing I feel like would be the the issue there. But again, like, I don't know. Like, that's just my yeah. views on it. I'll be so honest with you. I just... I didn't know how to feel about when I saw they allegedly deleted their first 100 episodes. Yeah, like, like thinking, I'll be honest, that can never happen. 100 thing is, episodes? Like, did you see the clips from the other Yeah, episodes? that's where the old clip was from that he's talking it, about. Exactly. Where J I think it was James that said something mad about, I think he said, I, I don't want to misquote him, but it was something along the lines of, oh, if you're a black woman, then why would a black man go for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Exactly. Which is, which is mad, I'm not gonna lie, which is pretty yeah, that's what he mad. Said. Because you're a black one, why would a black man go for you? That's, yeah, that's he was like, what he said, yeah. He was, because uh, who had I was talking about, he was with a white girl that uh, wanted mixed race babies, so she like loves off black men. Yeah. And then she was saying she wished she was black. And then, then James was like, uh, if you're a black woman, black man wouldn't even want you anyway. Yeah, that's basically what he said to them. Which is crazy. Yeah, like, that's, yeah, crazy. that's crazy. Basically. That's crazy. My thing is, <laughs> I don't understand how you can say that and no one in the room is, is thinking, yeah, that can't stay in. Like, why, why, why are you saying that and then leaving it in the episode? Yeah. Why are you saying it in the first place is a problem, but yeah. why are you leaving it in on top of that? That doesn't make sense. I just feel like they should have, with their, I didn't even listen to their apology, but I listened to a part of it, but it was just, it was pissed me off because... How it was now. Yeah, I just it didn't was, care to yeah. Like, I feel like they should have apologised for how they actually felt. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I feel like they just apologised because, because of the backlash. Yeah, and yeah. they were just trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Get over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, yeah kind of story. Like, bro, you just got to apologise for not doing enough in that situation. Yeah. Like, don't, don't now throw don't my man under the bus. Yeah, oh yeah, my man is yeah. like, oh yeah, he should have been making racist do, jokes. Doing too I'm much. I'm like, bro, man, what are you saying much, right now? Like, that's where much. I was like, Yo, what are you saying? I thought you were doing that. This <laughs> I thought you were doing this. Whatever this thing is that no, everyone likes to do. Even not eating. Not even the new man. You know all these man. The, um, I swear that's the, the, the Tate thing. brothers and Ronaldo and all them man. They no, like yeah, to do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that the Illuminati thing? No, because that's not a triangle, bro. Yes, it is. What shape is that? That's not. That's not, it's not a triangle. Wait, so what shape is that? That's a triangle. But that's yeah, not what, what was I doing before. That what shape? Uh, that's not a triangle. Oh, fair, fair, fair. The fair's like anyway. Yeah, let's get back to it. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, I feel like. Like sweep him. Like don't get me wrong. I'm not here to defend Andrew. I don't care. But I, I'll be honest. Like I feel like with me, I have a very different perspective to a lot of people in terms of comedy. I feel like comedy runs anything runs, bro. I that's my opinion. I feel comedy in comedy anything runs, and he's a clear comedian. Do you know what I mean? So I don't feel like like maybe a bit of it is stereotype. I get it, mm -hmm. but, but 
<gasps> jokes come with stereotypes. What? Sorry, no. Nah, Future drops an album. I didn't know. You didn't know he dropped? <laughs> no, I didn't. So I listened to it. I listened to a bit of it, should I say. Not all of it. Nice. But yeah, like that's just my opinion. I feel like jokes can run. My thing is, I don't know if they've got management, but it doesn't seem like they've got management because in terms of PR, how they've moved is far from good enough. I bet opinion. their management is white. I don't know if I'm crazy for saying that. <laughs> I bet you. No, nah, because to be honest, I feel like, okay, let me not tell you why you're saying that, but why I would assume someone is saying that is because they wouldn't know how to navigate and understand how black people feel in a situation. Yeah. Black, which but is even, like, even if it was us and we had a conversation like that, even if we weren't like with Andrew, we had a conversation like that, we would know that if like let's say you made let's say you Andrew and you made that type of joke, yeah. we would know at the end of the episode, okay, yeah. That's got that's that got to get come gone. out. Do you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like you know what needs to come yeah. out. And they've been doing this for long enough that they should know bro. what is bad for their brand. Like, bro, I I don't know. Bro. Like I don't like how sense. many episodes that like, bro. But like, the, yeah. And that's what I'm saying, because I feel like it's uh they didn't do anything. Because they're used to doing them type of jokes. That's why they took down 100 episodes. Because mm. they've made them type of jokes before. Yeah. So they saw nothing wrong with it in the moment. Because that's what they do. That's what they've been doing. Yeah. I'm not trying to get on to them in it. But that's the proof's in the pudding. That's why That's why they took it down. So. Yeah, I can't lie. Because I'll be honest. Not every episode we edit. I'll be honest. 95% of our episodes don't get edited. In terms of like cutting stuff out. Yeah. Never, I don't think we've ever cut out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Other than... There's one episode I remember clearly. I made a bad joke. Very, oh, very, very, I very, remember still. very, very bad jokes, though. I can't remember still. Yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah very yeah, bad yeah, jokes, yeah, yeah. though. Me personally, I, still, I would still think it's funny in it, but I just didn't put in. I don't think you know it would be received. Take it, it? Yeah. I feel like some people were taken in a way of like, it's not a joke. And I feel like that's what's happened with that episode, isn't it? I feel mm. like someone like me, I'll take as it's a dark joke. And dark jokes are my humor, I'll be honest. Dark so, humor, yeah, dark humor is my thing, though. I like, I think it's funny, like, like Dave Chappelle. That like Dave Chappelle, bro. If Dave Chappelle made that joke, no one's coming to come and say he's racist, bro. Oh, yeah, he's always, oh, and if he said that about a white person, bro, he will say about any race, bro. Yeah, bro, is. and he speaks about everything and anything, bro. Mm. Do I mean sexuality, race? Every, yeah, like, do I mean like he says it all, bro, and I people feel, know. I feel like that's because it's a, uh, because like I know I'm, I don't know if Andrew Schultz is a comedian. But he's a comedian, bro. Yeah. But like when you go to a, a comedy show, mm. you know what it's gonna. You know they're gonna push the boundaries. Yep. I feel like with a podcast, you don't really expect that. And maybe like people that know Andrew Schultz obviously can expect that type of behavior from him. But because these men are not going to a comedy show like it's a podcast, you're having a genuine conversation, and certain jokes can go too far because it's in a podcast setting that. Yeah, it's there's a difference. They're not our comedy shows or podcasts, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, bro, you can make the, that joke that you cut out. You, if you were doing a comedy show, you could have made that joke. 100%. Exactly. Because it's live. Hun- no, but like, that would have... No, because yeah, it's live. Yeah, people would have cried. Yeah, because you cried. Yeah, they yeah. would have laughed crying, yeah. bro. That joke was funny, bro. I still stand there. It's just that. That can't be recorded, though, innit? Like, it, no, no yeah. joke. No one can watch no that joke. over and over. No then joke. it's a front that. No joke. Joke. But the thing is, yeah, the thing is, yeah, if, like, for example, yeah, the joke I made, which won't be repeat, said on this podcast, so don't even think it'll be said. It won't be said. If I was saying stuff online prior or like, like recent year, let's say we kept an episode, but obviously like it's our audience right now, so like mm-hmm. they didn't send it, they don't clip or nothing, and we now blow up in five years or whatever, and I'm now talking about that sort of topic online mm-hmm. on let's say another podcast, and they pull us up on it. If they now go back to five years, gonna see that clip. Mm-hmm. They're gonna think the mad thing, like yeah, rah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So That's I feel like that's what's happened with this, and they're just trying to cover the cracks by just yeah. deleting our first hundred. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I just I feel like that's just a it's a cop out, man. I don't they, think you should they do just that. Shouldn't man. Have, they shouldn't have deleted the apology. That that they, was the just worst so thing many... they could have done. Should have made it. If you make it, you know what I'm saying. If you, it's a decision to make it. You have to, like you you stand on that. And if you delete, like the apology already seemed insincere, and then you delete it, so it's like you yeah. didn't really want to apologize, did you? Yeah. So I think uh, I think there's just there's a lack of research in there somewhere because if he's known to be a controversial comedian, why would you even go and he podcast? releases controversial content on said podcast that they're talking about, 
someone in the management should have had alarm bells ringing thinking, okay, you're a big podcast in the UK, one of the biggest in the urban scene or overall, whatever it is. In terms of PR, we should limit the opportunities that there are for you to be in some sort of mix-up where you can say the wrong thing or the wrong thing is said to you. <laughs> the PR team just failed. Stay away from that sort of podcast. The PR team just failed there. them, bro. But you, yeah, the PR team failed them because like... Failed. They, if they've got one. You're there, like, like, they, like Andrew said, they picked out stuff that they didn't want to be in the episode and they didn't And they out. left that in. So I'm telling you, they have to be white. So now the world knows mm-hmm. that you saw... They have to be white. Oh, the management? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I, Come I on, no. Surprised. Yeah, no. But then again, then strong. again, you see you see certain people, yeah. Clout is a hell of a drug, bro. Yeah. So they could have put this in and kept this in and be like, raw, like, people gonna like click. This is clicks, bro. We're gonna yeah. be known ever. We're gonna be seen that's ever. That's a crazy misjudgment. Come no, but on. like no, nah, bro, like I didn't like, think a lot of people. Race, do it. Though, innit? Nah. Yeah, but like it's race it's rage bit, innit? And rage bit equals clicks, bro. Yeah, but in, to a certain extent, oh, yeah, to a certain yeah, extent, yeah. you can. But it, like we wouldn't, but do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of people will, bro. Like we can make jokes, we can make jokes about girls, but, and that could be that could equal rage bait. But if we say something sexist, that's that's the wrong type of rage bait. You don't want that. You don't you know want I'm trying to that say? smoke. I'm sorry. You like don't. you can make jokes about other con- other races and stuff like that, but when you say something that's racist, mm. is uh, it racist? Was he racist? Now like, let's call a spade a spade. Was he racist? He was stereotyping. I don't know if that... I don't know if he was being racist. Nah, I don't get it. Like, that's the only thing I don't get. It's a stereotype. Then again... But it was a strong stereotype. Yeah, yeah so it probably like, was racist. Yeah. Like, all black women are aggressive. Do black yeah. women slap men? Well, obviously, uh, where's that from? Like, it's not about black... Oh, yeah, he's saying that they're aggressive. They do this, they do that. But not going to lie. Being honest, all women have... Well, not all women, but like... Everyone has, has the ability to slap someone. Like, you can't say, oh, yeah, black was, women do that. Wait for you to finish. I'll wait for huh? you to finish. Nah, nah, what you... I know what you're talking about right now, buddy. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> you're on a fucking what island I'm right now, buddy. Like, what I'm saying is, he's saying that black women slap guys. That's why you made the beard joke. But yeah. I'm not going to lie. Why has he singled out black women? No, but no. No, because the, the topic the, was Yeah, the black topic women, was black women. But, the topic was black women. I can't remember. Bro, I'll be honest. I didn't watch the episode then. So. But it's like he's watched a film where a black woman slapped a guy and he's made a stereotype. But to be honest, like... Or a few films. Black women... Like, and uh, his experience with black women is probably different because he's in America. America, sorry. And the black women there are probably different. But again... I don't know, man. It, it was racist. It was a racist joke. I'm all for education in this. Yeah. So I can learn in it, but for me personally, I saw it as a dark human joke. Was, it was a joke, so I won't I won't classify as racist. Yeah, but being on the receiving end because they're black individuals, being on the receiving end, they had to make sure it wasn't generalized. But do you, is, do you yeah, is, the yeah. only thing that I kind of like agreed on in a sense was the whole. Fight or flight thing. I don't know if you lot saw that clip of what James, James was saying. Yeah. You know, in certain circumstances, yeah, we can be, let's say we did a collab with someone, yeah, and they were just talking a madness or something, mm-hmm. whatever. You know, certain times you will just do a, a ha and then go on to the next topic, segue. Yeah. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Certain man would ha ha segue, someone will ha ha don't know what to do. Yeah. And certain man are ha ha. Apparently they'll now argue with the let's say the guests be like yeah. nah bro like what are you talking about like for me it's like I can understand in certain circumstances where you just ha ha just to move on like, yeah yeah do you know what I mean and yeah. that's what they were saying they were doing obviously I wish I watched the whole thing to see like raw like did they just ha ha and just it went on or like ha ha they made jokes as well yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The like, that's the only thing I kind of, like, I agree with. Like, sometimes you actually just, it's just an awkward thing. Like, yeah. like what do you yeah. do other than just, yeah. like, ha ha. Sometimes you just have to brush it off. But that situation wasn't supposed to be a category where they just brush it yeah, off. Yeah, but it's like, bro. I don't believe so, innit? It's like, imagine we were on the podcast now and he makes a joke about um, black people, him being scared of all black. No, makes a joke about South London guys. Yeah, South London guys. Oh, if you buck into them, they're probably gonna pull out a knife on you or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like we'd laugh, but we'd be like, bro, that's not all. Like, we, there's no way we just laugh and carry on with the conversation. You think so? No, no, we wouldn't. We would not. <laughs> no, no, we would not. I feel like we'd just be like, no, no, we'd be no, like, no, like I feel like I would laugh. Yeah, I'd be like, but like, bro, like, not everyone's like. Yeah, and I'd be like, yeah, that's if you go to certain areas, that's probably what you're. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, or it's like if a girl, if you had a girl on the podcast right now. 
and we said, oh, all South London girls are slags. And she laughed and didn't say anything after that. Yeah. No, like, they'll call her she would get dragged. They'll call her exactly. They'll call her pick me. Yeah, she would get dragged. They'll call her pick me. But the thing is, yeah, numerous women have said all men are trash. And we've done nothing about it, and there's no backlash. Deep but, that. Nah. Deep that, though. No, nah, but like. And that's not a that's joke, either. The, the, the yeah. thing is, yeah, we're not women. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, yeah. women can be offended and express their emotions. Because they're more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas men, one, we may not care. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't care. Do you know what I mean? But even if we do care, we're not brought up to be like, bro, like, that's offended me. Like, why would you say that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're, not, we don't, we're not brought up, we're not wired that way. A lot of guys aren't wired that way. Yeah. And me personally, I've said from, like, I don't know how long, I will never in my life argue with a woman. One, online. Two, I'm getting to the stage where I don't even want to argue with women. Because it's a losing battle. Yeah, that's inevitable, but I get what you're saying. No, no, but certain women, of course, you can argue with. Like, yeah, yeah, your yeah. girlfriend, you can yeah, argue yeah, with her. Yeah, yeah. But a, a girl just like on the street, oh, you, don't, you don't know. You can't trade. You got. I can't trade words with you. There's no way. Or at a party, or yeah. like, let's say <laughs> I cut the queue and she's arguing. Go ahead. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's certain things like you that, win. Like I would just never in my life do. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's true story. for me, it's like I was just trying to put myself in their situation and be like, right, like, how would I actually operate? Like, would I have laughed and said something like? But again, it's a learning curve. Like I'm, le- I've learned from that situation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but like in the po- like, we're in the podcast game. We've been doing this for a while, and we know there's certain things you can't talk. About. And them band have been in it longer. Like especially um in recent times with the whole thing um, of, like everything to do with like colorism and stuff like that. Like yeah. the subject of black women and anything negative to do with them. Yeah, it's like a. Taboo. Everyone knows that's so sensitive. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, even taboo to a, to an extent. You don't want to talk about it because you're going to be treading on the next shows. And I just feel like they should have known better, man. I'll be real. They're not media trained. They I'm have sorry. Known better. They're not. You can't tell me that they're media trained. And I feel like a podcast of their level, you have to be media trained. Yeah. Because it's like, it's just, what's the difference between them and sports? They're professionals. Yeah. No, I hear it. You know what I mean? They should be. Like, the thing is, I don't. Yeah, like I was saying. If that was us in that scenario, I guess it's easier to say from our perspective. From our, that we would have position, done something. We would have done something different. Yeah. But not going to lie, I do believe that if one of us said what James said in that old episode, bro, someone's going to say, yeah, after we finish, yeah, that's not staying in. Yeah, like... Someone's oh, no, got yeah, to say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Someone's got to say like, that, bro. Yeah. I'll be shocked if that doesn't happen. But then again, yeah. it does tie back to what I was saying last week in terms of like how they've grown up. Like We've grown up in a thing of black women are our people. We all like black women. Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah. And we've seen how in our... Demographic? It's not even demographic because they're black themselves. It's like in our... In our... I want maybe culture or our environment. Our, like, mm-hmm. that, I think those are the words. Our culture, our environment, our, like, our, our thing in it. Our community. Yeah, our community. Social you know what I mean? circle. Our social circle. Yeah. Black, we're black side of Twitter. Yeah. yeah. There may be... The other board. side with maybe a bit of black to her. That's how I see James and Fuhart. So that's why I feel like they make those jokes because maybe on that side of Twitter, it's accepted. It's like it's calm. Like, but on our side of Twitter, you get me? That's not, that ain't calm. You're you know what I mean? Up, bro. And you're getting pulled up, man. That's just, I feel like that's just an example of what's happened. That's what's going on, isn't it? It's you know true, I mean? actually. No, that's I think that's a good point. Cause... I feel like that's just how it was. Like they didn't grow up like how. Even though when they bring up episodes, they were with black girl in in, in uni. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I don't I don't I don't, I don't know. Because they're saying that black women are they make up the biggest part of their listening base. Yeah. But how have they supposedly made these sort of controversial comments in the past ten years while black women are listening to them? Does that make sense? Mm. I feel like the uh, yeah true, but. I don't know if those episodes were like um, if they dropped them while they were like big. No, no, that, no, no. Yeah. I thought they no, they no. they blew up off like someone even said that like, they they found the method of bringing um, memes into an ep- into episode. Memes, like you see, like mm. memes, like meme, like meme pictures. Yeah, they've found a way to replicate that. Oh no, no. They've rep- they've found out how to make a meme page like yeah. I'm just bait or like them yeah. sort of pages mm-hmm. on a podcast and they've just matched that meth or just posting clips. You know, you see how like 
Oh, you see I how like just Bait will post yeah. memes of like someone tap like them typed yeah. out memes or something. Yeah, they found a method of using that to make to bang. Yeah, I mean, yeah. their their podcast is a meme page. It's basically what basically in it. So oh, basically, what right, clips? Right, right. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like clips that blew up and like yeah. off memes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because so that's that's literally how I'm just bait on all them man blew you, up. If you were to look at it from that perspective, if they blew up off memes and not actual podcasting quality if that makes sense then I don't know maybe my perspective of them hasn't really changed but I sort of understand more as to why I've never listened to an episode no because they're funny I've, I've never listened to an episode <sighs> they, they're, they're, I found I find them very like uh, mainstream mm, like they make bit, jokes yeah, 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 yeah do you know what I'm saying yeah. they make jokes that are like universally funny type yeah. thing but I, I would never listen to them talk about anything Same. serious or anything of substance or stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, I, I don't know, man. No, yeah. I, I, I can't lie. I, I, I still have to give them their flowers. And, like, they're yeah. one of the, yeah, they, yeah, they're yeah, still yeah, yeah. one of the biggest them. in the world. So it's like, despite them being they called a, a meme page on a podcast or whatever, they still managed to retain an audience. They still retained listeners every week. Yeah. Mm, do you course. know what I mean? And they still sold out the O2 in it. So. so what, do you think there's a way back for them? Oh, Bro, yeah, I'll be honest, yeah, that's the thing. With me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. With man. me, yeah, I feel like this one is gone like deep. I, I, think, I, I, think, I think they're too up. I think I'm not gonna lie, I think they're actually too big to actually fall. That's what I think. I'm not mm. gonna, I think they're too big to fall. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think because I, I think they've got too many supporters for it to actually affect them. Some people be like, mm, shits and gigs. Yeah, I'm gonna like people are unfollowing, unsubscribing, XYZ, but I don't think it's the majority, so I think they'll be all right. Views might be affected, but man, they'll stabilize, I think. Okay, cool. I might be wrong, but I think they've lost 600k followers. 600k? I feel like they're on 8.9, but I could be so wrong. But they're on 8.3, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So maybe I'm maybe I'm capped out, but I thought Six, they're on 8.9. I don't know. We have, there's no way to really fact check to be but honest. Like, who have you seen that's been almost like that? Oh, people are trying to cancel them right yeah, now. Yeah, they're trying to. Who have you seen that's been almost like that's been cancelled on this type of level? No, no, no. It's a new level. BBC News confirmed that. It's yeah. a new level. <laughs> for a podcast, it's a new level for sure. But at the same time, the level which they're on is also a new level in terms of the urban scene. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. They dropped an episode four days ago. It's on 413k views. I don't think they're falling off. I Fair think enough. they're good. They're too big to fall you know I mean? off, bro. I think, they're, look, good. I think, I, I think they're good still. Then again, that could just be uh, the the hype in it. Like, remember when Gary Lineker was dropped off um, thingy match of the day oh, yeah, and then yeah, the yeah, next yeah. episode, like, they have how many, yeah, they bang viewers. Yeah. I mean, they dropped a vlog six hours ago, a 10 minute vlog. Oh, it's 10. on 21k. So if they did that before, if they didn't drop the apology and carried on like nothing happened, that's like, where I think they would have yeah, an like, issue. You can only get cancelled if you let yourself be cancelled. True. Yeah, that's, that's true. I, but I feel like true. their size is arguably the determining factor. Because if that happened to... Yeah. If that happened if to that, us, we're done. If that, if that, yeah, bro, in a way, we're, in a way, the in a way we're done. Because a lot of black girls w- would stop watching. The water. We're getting approached in person. Yeah. <laughs> no, no don't, don't do that. No. Bro, they would. <laughs> I shuck this tomorrow. Oh, so is that... Bro, I guarantee you. What? I, what? You don't think that will happen? I'll walk past you, bro. Obviously, but like, you don't think people will like, even no. side eyes will try and come up to you? Side eye maybe, yeah. Side eyes. Coming up to you, already. coming up to you about something that, like, you didn't even actually do anything. You just laughed. Yeah, right. I mean, so yeah. It actually shouldn't be a thing of, you're yeah. coming up to me. If I started making jokes. a lot of jokes, do you know what I mean? Then, yeah, it's a different story. Yeah, if it, even if I put to someone like 90s, I can't lie, I think they're in trouble as well. Because no, it's about size. But it? 90s have done, 90s have been in trouble. No, but, no, no, this is bro, BBC News. No, but 90s aren't as big as shits and gigs, so that's why it's not BBC. But they've been kind they've been tried, they've tried to, remember academics, remember that whole, seg, that whole situation yeah. that they went through? I uh, mean, th- that, that was one, mad for them. One, I don't think that's quite the same because that was more controversy surrounding the guests they brought on, not something they did specifically No, nah, because remember, someone's also been integrated about like the whole black, black girls thing. And that, that was Fred. Whole colorism thing. Yeah, the whole colorism thing. Tweets. They've been through the tweets. They've been through academics. They've been through stuff, bro. Like, in a way, like have, again, like, like I'll be honest with you. Yeah, the people that mess with you mess with you, and that's it. Like, you see Keith when he was on free shots. I'm sure he said some Twitter stuff. I can't remember. I think he, I think he went through a Twitter stuff. 
bro, I, I, like a lot of people still watch it. I mean, free shots. They still watched it every week. They didn't fall off. They didn't again. I mean? Like these guys, you see what um Lakeith Stanfield said. <laughs> bro, he even posted it. He said, if you talk about, if you talk negative about um, Black women. your BL and your podcast, and he said, F word, your podcast. <laughs> Americans, yeah, man. like they're, they're he's American in it. Like, it's oh, bro, it's new level. Someone else bro. posted as well. Someone American, I don't know who it was. Someone I, as well. they, 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 they'll bounce back for him, but I don't think it'll be the same. They won't have the same. I don't know. You know. Oh, yeah, there's a chance. Though, I don't off. think the man above, and I'm not talking about God, I'm talking about on this earth. The man above, those that control the media, yeah. will allow shits and gigs to fall off. First. Do they care? Yeah, why? Shits and gigs are making the money. The man above eats. He eats off everyone's plate, bro. Yeah, but how would they... Who's the man above in this case? Like YouTube or mm, whoever you, they're signed with? You, no, they ain't, they're signed to themselves, bro. They got yeah, their exactly, own media so. company, bro. So, bro, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't think they're going to fall off. I don't think there'll be any other, uh, anything else coming from this. I just think... Like deep it, bro. Like, who's going to... Is anyone going to want to collab with them right now? Bro, oh. we, we will collab with them tomorrow. Yeah, to interview yeah, them. Yeah, we would, because we know what we'll do for the podcast. Yeah, we'll, but, <laughs> but we'll talk about their situation. But that's an opportunity. Be, but that, what they will do for our podcast, we'll do for every single person's podcast in the mm. world. Yeah. Other than maybe like Joe Rogan. Yeah. Maybe the Joe Biden may not do it, there, but like yeah. he will still do it because, you know, clicks. Americans care about clicks. Yeah. 95% of the world are still collabing with shits and gigs but that's But they'll talk about the situation. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like... That will get you the views. Bro, well. They won't want to talk about that. Even if they don't talk fair, about it, bro, fair. they're your, still yeah, going to click on it, bro. Yeah, your appearance, bro. That's what the matters. Bro, matters. everybody in the world is collaborating with Shits and so Gigs tomorrow. So you're saying you'd bring Shits and Gigs on? I'll bring and, Shits and, and Gigs on if today. And, to come on. If no, and not talk about the situation. Yes. Because who is Shits and Gigs? One of the biggest podcasts in the I'm world. Not, the comments will be I'm full of, why do you ask about it? Why do you ask about it? You see me, yeah. You see me, yeah. That would be a bad... That would be a bad... No, we shouldn't. We wouldn't even do that. Yeah, yeah, out of your mind. Let's be... Bro. If they wouldn't talk about the that. situation, I'd be a bit... You're out of your mind. If, you don't, if they don't talk about the situation, then it's like we're endorsing, like we're... Almost, yeah. You know, I'm yeah, condoning yeah. what they did almost. type thing. I ain't condoning it. I'm like, making a business move. No, nah, nah, like, but it's how it's perceived as well, though. Especially, there'll be no other That's black... How it's perceived and what I intended are two different things. No, but what you intended doesn't always translate well into the people watching us. That's got nothing to do with me. It does, bro. It does. Mm-mm. It actually does. Let's be real. Because it's the views. Because if the views not... Let's, Obviously, this is a stream, innit? But if the, if the views actually plummet, yeah, to like 200 a week, because like, oh my gosh, you brought them on. Oh my gosh, why didn't you ask them this? And everyone just cuts. Then you'd be like, rah. No, if we would be like, rah. Bro, like, if we brought them on and we didn't talk about it, people would be like, oh, so you guys condone what they did? Like, why are you guys not talking about it? Like, like, after it bro, the it, it would not be, like, there will be no... Bro, we can literally put at the start. So, we brought them on and as we started the episode, they said that we aren't allowed to talk about certain topics. So that is why it's missing from this episode. Hope you enjoy the rest. But why would we do that to ourselves? <laughs> like, why? why would we do that to ourselves? Why? Like, there's no... Are you, man, taking the piss? No, why would we actually do that to ourselves, bro? bro I'll be honest here. Yeah. I'll be honest here. Yeah. I feel like... You see... Uh, cool, 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 cool. Hold on. You see with the 90s baby and the academic situation? Yeah. Academic still gets interviewed by bare American outlets. Yeah. yeah. So, and no, no, hold on. Academics was on... Um, the the shoe stuff. Kick game. Kick game. Academics was on kick game. Mm-hmm. But it's 90s baby they want to go on to. We're not letting that run. After. Wait, they... He was on kick game after 90s baby. So and That episode is probably still there. And they got on to 90s baby for having academics on. Yes. Yeah. So they'll do the same thing to us. What the... Why are we allowing that to happen to no, us? No, it will happen to us because we're black. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no. I promise you, they will not go like no other see me, I'm black owned no more, podcast bro. or black owned um, content will, will will collab with them right now. That's a but, fact. To be fair, if we're gonna get dragged, you know, there's no controlling it really and truly. Like, unless you're gonna go back and forth with anyone, which we're not going to do. There's no controlling it. And we're gonna exactly. Like, so why would we put ourselves yeah. into that situation? Yeah, we'd have to think. About Academics was on kick game, bro. Bro, the like, bro. When you, when, I feel like when you no, get to I a think, certain no, level, you just re- don't allow no, certain people to though. talk. That's, that's different though, because that wasn't Craig's idea. That was Kick and, Game's idea. And even if they talk, bro, Craig sh- could have said, "I'm not interviewing him." He's yeah, well, he's not going to do that. He's, he's exactly. Employed by he's employed by, by them. Choice. He's going to interview. Are you guys, there. No one knows bro, who owns Kick Game. No one can force anybody to do anything, bro. bro if Craig wanted to not interview him, he would not have interviewed him. He bro, didn't care. He like. He and this is not to get onto him, by the way. But there's a there's an element of deniability because. 
he doesn't own them. He's yeah. just doing his job. That, if anyone got onto him, he would just say, I'm just doing my job. Like, they, no they, they bring in the guests. I interview them. I do that. With us, we chose to bring on this guest. No, nah, my manager did. No, well, okay. You can Who's going to believe that? Have one. Our manager brought on <laughs> no the guest, bro. No one's going to believe that. Our manager man. brought on the guest. Even then, it's still, we have more control over who comes on as opposed to him. And if, if our manager brought them on, they'll think, your manager is white. Stan be white then. He's the one that's helping us. That nah, obviously you lot no. viewing and watching us is helping us, but like I mean we'll see anyway. We'll see if they add I'm mad I, mad. You wouldn't collab with Shits and Gigs. No, 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 no. right now. That's, Only that's to interview them, that's it. If we can talk about what happened, I don't mind. Yeah. But how long are we gonna talk about that for? There's like, no way we're doing a whole episode about just that. No, we won't. We won't, but it will be. we gonna say, to... Oh yeah, you guys should have defended them. No, 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 no. We'll ask like, oh I don't know, we but I don't know what question we'd ask, but we'd have to talk about it. It wouldn't be the whole episode, but it'd have to be talked yeah, about in the episode. It'd have to be touched on. Still have to it'd be have to be talked on. about in the episode, it's 100%. Too, it's on BBC News. Like, it'd so have to be more, touched it's on, If you search their name up on Google, bro, it's on everything. It'd Independent, Yahoo News, yeah, everything. I, see, I'll be honest here. I'm, I'm on the side of, because I interview you doesn't mean I agree with what you did. Look at even this BBC, podcast duo didn't ask for racist jokes to be cut. Like remember, right, right, cool. Let's let's talk about, huh? That's on BBC. That's the that's the headline. But they're doing that for clicks. Yeah, they would interview them tomorrow. Who BBC? Yes. Yeah, because they're a white-owned company. They don't care. If it was someone like freaking um, what's her name? There, what's her name? GK Barry. She, they, they, they'd be on that tomorrow. Yeah, but then she doesn't care. She's not black. But then again, she may not because of like the whole. She might not. She might not. Yeah, she might. Because exactly. they want to avoid... Exactly. You know what I mean? So why would we do it if she wants to avoid no, it? I'm trying to get in the eyes of everybody, bro. No, Are you man. sure? Business. No, no, no. You sure? It's a no, business man. move, though. Business no, no, move. No, man. Sometimes you got to look at the cost. No, but don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If they ask me to collab with free shots and night, um, shits and gigs tomorrow, who would I pick? Free of course, shot. I'm picking free shots. Oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. I'd pick... Yeah, of course. Why? Of course. No, I, I prefer I, them I feel like I just prefer them. I prefer them anyway. Or is it because shits and gigs are in trouble? Nah. Because if they weren't, you'd pick shits and gigs. Nah. You would. Don't Same with you would. Don't lie, don't, don't, lie, don't, lie, don't, don't lie, don't lie. If shits and gigs weren't in trouble, bro, they are the number one. What, what, what's the subscriber count at this rate? That TikTok was like 9 million. Yeah. And that's, oh, come on, man. Anyone, anyone comes second to shits and gigs as a collaboration right now. In the no, podcast, no, no, in the no. It's, whole, it's, in the not, it's actually scene. not all about the numbers though, man. I'll collab with Joe Biden over Shits and Gigs. Okay, UK, 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 bro. He, yeah, that's because they're Joe bigger. bigger. No, yeah. Joe Biden's not bigger than Shits and Gigs. Yes, Are you sure? No, he's not. Are you not. sure? He is not bigger than Shits and Gigs. <laughs> Are you, you sure? Are, fried. Are you guys crazy? Joe Are Biden's not bigger sure? than Shits and Gigs. Bro, in terms of what Joe Biden can do, and Joe Biden and Shits and Gigs can do for our podcast, Joe Biden can do more. Impossible. That's, yes, he can. Impossible. He literally, he literally has... The American audience. Shits and gigs do black, bro. These men are stupidly big, bro. Yeah, they are. Which like is stupidly, bro. Yeah. These guys are not small boys in this thing, bro. bro. If we go on Joe Biden, like that's America that knows us. Shits and gigs. Yeah, some people in America will know us, but it's mainly UK. nah, bro. They did a tour in America, bro. Yeah, so like them man know them man are, are up there still in the podcast game still. You'd rather go on Joe Biden than Shits and gigs. Yeah, because just I prefer show Joe Biden's podcast. I'm telling you, it's not about the numbers sometimes. Like, who I'd rather, who do I think I would have a better conversation with? Do you think Shits and Gigs wouldn't go on Joe Biden podcast if they could? They they I think would. that's pride, though. I think it's pride. I think that they would expect to be reached out, not reach out to them. Mm. Yeah, they exactly. So the fact that they didn't, like, when you have an American tour, they went on all these other podcasts that are like, they're smaller than Joe Biden. They actually are smaller. They're than smaller than, than Joe Biden, exactly. You'd rather All of them were smaller. We'd, exactly. Every You'd rather have smaller. Joe Biden. The only reason I wouldn't go on Shits and Gigs was for the sake of the conversation, quality, the quality of the conversation. Because like I was saying before, like, I respect what they've did. I'm giving them their flowers. They're cold. One of the best. But in terms of conversationalists, I don't know if they're the best. Because how they blew, like you said, was off the meme page format, not based off the quality of conversation. Does that make sense? Mm. As opposed to someone like '90s or or Free Shots, <clears throat> where all they're posting is one hour, thirty minute uh, videos, two hour videos, and everyone's tuned in, know what they're saying at any part of the video. 
That's what I think. Mm. A bit like poor minds. I don't know. I don't want to be in a situation where it's like question, answer, question, answer. Because a lot of their content is dilemmas, 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 question, answer. I don't like that, to be honest. I like fluid conversation. So that's my part. Yeah, no. Nah, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm collabing with them tomorrow, still. So I'll be honest. Because that's, it's just a gigs. Yeah, yeah. And you wouldn't talk about the situation. That's, couldn't care less. Okay. Couldn't care less. I would not be on the episode. I don't think I. I would not be on the episode, bro. If that episode makes us five bags tomorrow, don't touch that. Yeah, do not touch that. What a man, bro! Like, bro, you don't see make bread, but you can't let the no. And I'm not even saying that it's like controlling you lot, but you can't let them like the media control what you do, bro. And I'm not saying this again. I'm not. It's not. I'm not saying you lot is letting controlling what you lot are doing, but me personally, bro. That man have gone through the fire, they're not, like, you cannot hold them and say they should die in fire, bro. Like, mm-hmm. they're done, bro. Like, they've, you, you've a lot of scrutinised them and it's done, bro. Like, yeah, that's you, it. then you collab with them when the heat dies down. No, nah, man, like... Um, you're forgetting bro. the reason they survived that fire is because of how big they were, partially. We're not that size, innit? You know if, what I mean? I mean, calm, innit? Me, personally... They lost 600k, they're still on 8.3 mil, bro. Yeah, but my... my you that? see me, my vote is on, you get me... Collab, do the collab, bro. I'll be honest. I don't mind collabing, but like you said, when it dies down, yeah, I think it's too hot right now. I'm not gonna so know. if they say collab with us tomorrow, or you will never collab with us again. If we no, can't, no, if no, we no. can't speak I'll about that situation, bro, I can't. Like, I don't think. I don't think that's a good move. So if they said to you, yeah, Brendan, man, I already know our answers because of how it will be worded, how I'm gonna word it. But if they said to you tomorrow, oh yeah, you guys can collab with us now. If you're not collab with us now, I, I, I really think I don't think we'll really collab ever again in the future. And his way is, man. Because of pride, we'll say it is what it is. Not even pride. I, for yeah, me, it's not... pride. For me, it's pride. For me, it's pride. If you talk to me like that, I'm... Yeah, pride yeah, is the yeah. Still. For me, if you talk like that, I don't cut in it. Do you know what I mean? You think I am? Yeah, exactly. I'm that's not a big... I'm waiting around to big feet to come on. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, cutting it. Yeah, that, that, that issue would already be dismissed. I'd, like, obviously, they're trying to do the, the big it one. Us, but I'll be like, yeah. It's, you guys aren't in a good position. You, they're not in a position to be making those terms. And they wouldn't be in a position to make those terms. That's what I'd say to them. Like, you guys are in trouble right now. If you don't want to come on, it's fine. It's not. It's not gonna harm us in any way. But yeah, yeah, my. I mean, because the narrative behind what they were doing on the Andrew Schultz's podcast was a lack of protection towards black women because obviously they didn't pull them up on it. Yeah, they sort of just green lighted it. They just brushed it to the side as if they yeah. agreed. So then, if we now bring them on, and we can't address the situation. It's almost as if we're now saying in capital, we don't care about what you did to black women. Let's just have a conversation. This is for the sake of the capital lab collaboration and nothing else only. That's what it looks like. And I don't want it to look like that. As much as I don't care what anyone thinks, at some point you do have to take into consideration what everyone thinks. So would you bring on P. Diddy? No. Again, like, same reason. <laughs> Unless we can talk about it. Unless we can talk about the situation. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bro, bro, like, he's under investigation, bro. That means he can't even speak about it by law, bro. Oh. Then he's of no use to us. No. <laughs> Pete. And he's of no <laughs> use to us. Diddy is of no use to our podcast. He's of no use to us if we cannot talk about that situation. Bro, the only people would die to interview Diddy, bro. Exactly. About the situation right now. No, that's yes, true, that's bro. True, that's true. They're not interviewing that's him about his music asking. or stuff like <laughs> that. You know what I'm saying? Asking. They're asking about that situation. That's the only reason people tune in. And I promise you, if they did it, if they if we did it, like we interviewed him and we posted it, people they won't even watch the episode or keep clicking onto different times to try and see if we talk about it. They won't even watch our episode, bro. <laughs> They'll literally just be trying to find whether we talk about it or not. Diddy. Bro, that means that means we're the podcast that we have to stay away from controversy. We don't have to stay away from controversy. That, no, that. We it depends on what type it. of controversy is. Yeah. Like, all that all publicity is good publicity. No, it ain't. No, it actually ain't. It's actually not. I'm sorry, it's actually not. I mean, we've gained followers off our uh, uh, most dragged TikToks in it, so. Yeah, but, how, yeah, but how far has that it gone for us? That was because of us, though. How yeah, far has it like, gone we're the ones getting dragged. In terms yeah. of bad publicity. How far has it gone? Yeah. It's not really been bad publicity. Mm, stitches. It's just an opinion. Over 100k yeah. views. It's not bad publicity, though. That's just someone it's a bit bad opinion. Yeah, they just us. disagree with something yeah, that they said. they disagree with what we're saying. I don't think that's bad publicity. I think bad publicity is what shits and gigs have got. That's bad publicity. And they know your name for the wrong reason. That wasn't really our situation, I don't think. Being in the media for the wrong thing. Fair enough. 
Fair enough, I hear it still. But that whole Diddy situation is kind of tough still. It's a, it, tough ain't even doing it justice. Ain't even the right words to. Do you lot see the video of his a kids? Thousand bottles of baby oil. Are you taking the mic? What's that? The about? videos of the kids walking out of court. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, they're, they're his ain't son. Say anything. Uh, was it? Um, what's his name? All of them, isn't it? Justin. I only saw um, the dark skin one. That's because you don't know who the others are. No, I only she only saw him in the security guard. She only saw him in the security guard. I forgot his name though. Justin is his name. No, that Justin's a light skin, isn't it? Yeah, he was there as well. Oh, first. Oh, Christian. Christian Combs, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I just want to, like, do you know what it is? Like, sometimes I deep, like, you know, we're actually privileged that our parents and us aren't in the media like that. Now, like, them men are actually getting yeah. eyes all on them, bro. 24 yeah, 7, bro. Imagine your dad being in the media for apparently being a, do you get me? And now also being a racketeer or all that stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, they were born into it. They were born in... They didn't get to pick, bro. They literally didn't get to pick, bro. You know, some, t- some people like, raw, like, oh, like, imagine if they was going around saying, oh, yeah, like, I wish I wasn't in this life. Like, we'll, talk, we'll tell them, shut up, bro. Like, what are you talking about? You know what well, I mean? It's lack of perspective, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, lack of perspective, but yeah. Yeah, that's true. And that's almost always because of money, you know? When they say... It's more than money, bro. It's money, clout, like... Yeah, clout as well. Network, bro. Like, them man have probably been to every ending party they wanted to go to in their life, bro. Do you know what I mean? You see, you see when people are born into the spotlight because of their parents, at what age do you think they get media trained? From young, bro. From young. So, like, I'll give examples. Will Smith's kids, Deion Sanders' kids, Diddy's kids, Flipping, Beckham's kids. Yeah. But then again, like, Beckham's kids aren't in the media, Nah, nah, they are still, not gonna lie. They are still. I don't know, any of them. His oldest married, she, what is her, is she an actor? I swear she's an actor. Who are we talking about, sorry? Bro, Bro, act, women wife. are, co- why Brooklyn's are women known wife? as oh, yeah. actors, Brooklyn's 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 yeah. Women aren't known as actors, bro. Actresses. Actresses. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a, But it's everyone says right. it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, plus she's a, her dad's a billionaire, so. That too. Yeah. That too. But yeah, I actually don't know any of Beckham's kids. I've never seen them on like a, Insta page or anything like that, so I don't know them. It's kind of a, it's, I guess it's a different. Deion size. Sanders kids, like you only really know them because of football. Football. If they weren't in football, we wouldn't know them. <laughs> Who else? Will Smith's kids. Fair enough. They needed to get media trained, but at the same time, like I don't think they really needed that much. In fact, not cap because <laughs> I ain't really seen none of none of no like them going wrong in any media post. So. I'm they probably just got spoke, they probably got drilled before the interview yeah. if they did the interview or something like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But well, yeah, like, I personally couldn't imagine myself in that sort of life, bro, I'll be honest. Being born into it? Yeah, I'd rather be the one to step into it because of me, innit? Yeah, I guess so. Because at least I had the choice. Like, I've had a, I have have a choice to be in this podcast. Do you know what I mm. mean? And so if it takes off tomorrow, I had a choice of knowing that, yeah, this is where it can go. Do you know what I mean? Whereas being born into it is like, I have to be by on the camera. Yeah, whatever, by affiliation. Whatever you do, I'm paying with the same brush. Do you know what I mean? No. Which is mad. And I feel like that's how maybe the kids were feeling away, like, raw, like, they're calling my dad this and that. It's like, like, can I really step out and show face? Like, mm. you know what I mean? I feel like it will have an after effect on them as well. I'll be honest. It's like, he has, he has twin do- No, I could be wrong. I don't twins. know if they're twin daughters. Or just, he has daughters. But I don't know. I can't remember if they're twins or not. But like, I didn't see them at that. The, the court thing. Nah, that would have a massive effect on them. And mm. they've lost their mum as well. Do you know what I mean? So. Is their mum Kim? Kim? Kim Porter? Yeah. Yeah. Like, they've lost their mum, bro. So, like, what, happens, <laughs> what actually happens now if they lose their dad? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Nima, have you finished, though? Nah, they yeah. They denied him 50 mil bell. 50 M's? Yeah. Because he's yeah, considered they're a trying to put him under flight the risk jail. or whatever, some type of some sort of risk. Fifty M's. He's he's not. No, but, but the evidence against him is stacked. There's even a vid on TikTok of like one of his parties. I think it was on a yacht or something. And it was literally him collecting everyone's phones. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, like that's there. The thing is, yeah, that's only dodgy because of what he's known for, for doing. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. If that was now a video of, I don't know, Morris Chestnut collecting people's phones, no one's going to think anything of it. Anything of it. You like, they would real. though. Nah. Nah, we would think of something. Because celebrities say, yeah, no phones at this party. Bear celebrities do that. They do. But do they collect their phones? Yeah, they they shouldn't be doing it themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's But it wouldn't be, thing. it wouldn't be mad. 
Like, if I said I'm doing a no phones party, it wouldn't be me collecting yeah, your phone. Be, yeah, It'll be yeah, someone else at the be, door. Exactly. But you doing a no phones party automatically suggests like you're gonna do something that shouldn't be recorded. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it means. Like, at the same bare, time, it could just be a thing of like live in the moment, bro. I know bare people do it, like, and, like bare, bare artists, yeah, 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 but they'll do it on a thing where like, okay, they're chilling with this girl. Okay, we're gonna take a phone away now because if you post record something you shouldn't, something. you know what I'm yeah, saying? You long. record something you shouldn't. But at a party, that's I think that's kind of crazy. To still. be fair, bare people that don't take phones probably get people to sign NDAs. Yeah, exactly, exactly, so exactly. One, so exactly, exactly. So exactly, it's mad. So life did he made it sign? If did he made uh, everyone sign an NDA before coming to a party? Like, that's I mean, spooky. I think he's made. Allegedly, no, but like, he must have made someone sign something because why has no one come out and said, Yeah, this happened at that part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they all sign it, bro. Like, even with like, um, um, AMP, like when yeah, they did the yeah, pool party, <laughs> anyone that comes in, you have to sign an NDA first. You know what I mean, it's like, Why? But then again, like, and even, even that, like, I swear, you Kai got into a situation, yeah, with someone that recorded his room and posted it, and it's like. But you signed an NDA, bro. Like, what oh, are you doing? So they broke in the yeah, they house. broke it. Bare people break NDAs in America, but like at the same time, it's just whether or not you want to sue them. Yeah, like a lot of people will. They apparently them man actually just sue them, bro. Like you're getting sued. Maybe that's why they take phones. No, nah, it is because the NDAs you can break that, bro. Phones you ain't got a recording, so it's now hearsay. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, well, the problem with Diddy is that there's too much hearsay for it not yeah, for none of it to be true. Still. And what was that video on Twitter circling like him dragging someone in a hotel corridor? Yeah, that ain't hearsay, bro. That's yeah, that's, that not, that's actual. Was that not Cassie? Was, was it like Cassie? I don't yeah. know who it was. I it was she was, was like lighter. She was fairer skinned. Like. Yeah, that's when they because the Cassie thing happened recently. That was during like, the Cassie thing. Yeah, yeah that that was the evidence that came, and then they didn't apologize for it, like. Because it happened like time ago, innit? And they only apologised it. Uh, they only apologised after the video came out. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. for like 30 mil to settle? Something like that? Something like Yeah, they yeah. settled something. Bro, it was... They didn't settle, bro. They she didn't. He, down. he literally paid out what she's asked for. Oh, fairs. Is that a settlement? Yeah, yeah it is. I thought like a settlement figure's like in the middle or something. No, nah, because if she... if. If um sh- he paid out, then there was no legal... There's no legal action against yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a probably settlement. Probably a settlement, yeah. isn't it? No, but apparently that was just because of who he was in business with. That if there's ever like a legal case, a legal um case against him, they have to settle straight away. First, huh. yeah. So kind of closes that. I don't know, but, but I think it's to do it's to do with one on the alcohol business. Yeah, he's now so. lost revolt. I swear, that's why he lost revolt. The TV show. I don't know, but I, I saw Carisha is doing that show again. Carisha, please, right? Yeah, Carisha, please. Though. I think that was with... She has an episode coming out with Rick, Rick Ross, or it's already out. Is that an inter- is, is it a podcast? Co- oh, sorry. Is it a podcast, or is it just an interview? Um, It's a podcast, though. I don't think it's really an interview. But, like, their interview styles, or their podcast styles, is, like, asking questions, do you know what I mean? Does that not sound like an interview to you, though? I don't know. I feel like um, podcast, to me, in America, is Joe Budden, Joe Rogan. Mm. Million dollars worth of game. Drink champs. What's Charlemagne's thing? Yeah, but drink million dollars worth of game is like interview as well. Mm. And Club Shay Shay's a nah, but, but he calls a million dollars worth of game is the person comes on actually engages in conversation. Mm. Like there's questions from time to time, but there's also parts where the guests might even ask them a question or just having general conversation where someone's saying this, someone's saying that. I don't know. But yeah, it's not just straight. Oh, X, yeah, Y. Question asked. That's, yeah. Pram, I even forgot to say this about that Shaka thing, bro. What? You see how I had tickets, yeah? I was posting on my story, cool. People, I, I didn't realise this, yeah, only until I started doing this selling tickets thing. Everybody's apparently nice that they want to check the ticket price for their friend and that they'll get back to me. Everybody's now suddenly nice like that. I didn't know everybody's nice to check for other people of the ticket prices. Because like, me personally, I've never checked the ticket price for anybody in my That's life. crazy. That is the message they get once I say the price. Once I say the price, oh, okay, thanks. I was actually checking for my cousin, so I'm going to get back to you. Checking? I was checking the price for my cousin. I'm going to tell her and then I'm going to get back to you. Vanish. <laughs> Gone. 
Gone. Gone. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Gone. <laughs> when I catch you, Ricky. The only reason I'm not even stressed is because I sold all of my tickets. And now I'm just trying to help sell other people's tickets in. But you almost, you lost your own ticket. You sold your own ticket, innit? No, nah, that was even a mistake, bro. <laughs> AXS was messing about with me. So I transferred someone one. Yeah. But it wasn't shown that I had transferred to them. So I thought I hadn't. So I had I had three in my account. Mm-hmm. I transferred one to someone. Yeah. It was shown that I had two. Yeah. But it didn't show that I had transferred to that person. So I thought... Right, I actually only have two and I, have, I need to transfer one of them to the person. Uh, but then eventually it came true. So, yeah. Guys. But yeah, I actually thought I sold my personal ticket and I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm cooked. cooked. I thought I was so cooked. Day before? Day Golly. before, bro. Day before is when I was like, right, I'm finished. Where's the... Actually, no, I'll swear after. I was going to say parking, but it's near that thing, isn't it? That. Yeah, but I don't even want to park there, you know, because... Tickets. With the O2, when you're trying to leave... It's like... Oh, the traffic, innit? The traffic is mad. Jeez. The traffic is mad. I don't even remember how I left last time because I didn't... I don't think I drove. I think I was... I think I let my boy drive me. I can't remember, you know? I think I let my boy drive me yard because it was just mad. The traffic was mad. And the thing is, we can't even... Yeah, there's no... Ooh, there's nowhere else to park, bro. Be honest. No, you can park at that Odeon, innit? Or in that car park, that um golf car park. You just have to walk a little bit. No, 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 no. I'm not parking anywhere there because it's just traffic. Wherever you go, is there only one exit there? Yeah, there is. Only one no, there's, exit. no, there's more than one. No. Because we're not going, we're going, well, we don't even know where we're going, but. No, it's only one exit, bro. Yeah. You can't drive. Odeon, how far is Odeon walk? Yeah, man, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah, still. So it's a bit of a bot, but like, I'll be honest, I'm doing that bot still. So that afterwards is not. So that afterwards, I'm not waiting for 10 hours. True, because most of that traffic is like within, within the O2 yeah, section. So it's just long to get out. It's true still. Yeah, you know I mean, because then I'll be the, we'll be getting to a, afters late and that, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> know, but fam, in this gym, I swear I'm actually bang. Like, I said it before, but the way I'm banging cardio is actually mad, bro. Like, I'm not running. I'm just doing. There's a setting fat burn, <laughs> bro. I swear, down. This is the first time in my life where I feel like raw. Like I'm actually kind of shredding a bit. Like, I was. I looked at myself today. I was like, raw. Like you're actually kind of looking decent, still. Because for me, I feel like I have bare fat on my belly. Not bare, but like, I have fat on my belly. And I'm yeah. like, I'm not really the biggest fan of that. So. I've been buying push-ups today as well. I'm going to try and bang that as well, 50 a day. Yeah, I did that the other day still. And banged it quite quickly still. I was a bit impressed. 50 in one shot? 50 in one shot, bro. Yes. 50 in one shot. When I got to 40, I was like, oof, dig in. Mm. You know what I mean, bro? Yeah, make sure you look exercise when you're at yard, innit? Make sure they what? <laughs> Make sure you exercise when you're at home, oh, innit? Oh, oh, fair. I mean, fair get fair. a bit of exercise and get sort of 10k steps a day in. Someone said the other day that they don't need to exercise. They're already in shape. I said... <laughs> Good luck to you and your body, innit? We'll see you in five years, man. Good luck to you and your body, Sha. It's like, people assume that fast metabolisms last <laughs> forever. Nah. Nah, but bro, you're going to lose it still. No, lose that. When you lose that, you have no element of repetition in terms of doing exercise or no element of discipline in terms of knowing when to put down the junk food and do some exercise. Cooked. Well, do you see um five and forgot I was gonna bring it I forgot I forgot about bringing it earlier, but Big Toes is in a fight, yeah? Yeah, with Kells. Yeah, Kells. Who is Kells again? Where's he from? Someone um, said it before. Do too hot to handle said too, it the other day. Yeah. That show on Netflix. It's old. Bro, Big Toe's got knocked out, bro. But apparently he knocked. He knocked my man out down in the first round. We spoke about this, no? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I thought we spoke about this. Last week, innit? Yeah. Same mom. Yeah, yeah, as soon as you said Big Toe's knocked him down first. No, do you know what I wanted to bring up, though? Because he was on Winners Talking Podcast. That's what I wanted to bring up. Nah, Big Big Toe's. And he's talking about how like it's a lonely journey on the way back. Like, obviously, after a loss like that, innit? I actually wanted to hear what he was gonna say because obviously he's actually somebody in the in in like the media, I guess. Mm. And like losing in that fashion is a bit like, hmm. Mad for where do you PR, go? From? Yeah, it? mad for PR, bro. Also, I haven't really seen too much clowning online. I'll be honest, I didn't really see too much clowning. Because who watched it though? Obviously, respectfully, but no, nah, people watch, but like I didn't watch. I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't know anyone that watched it. You know what I mean, I didn't watch, but yeah, like my mom was just basically like, yo, like it's a lonely journey, like. 
And I'm even deeper. If I was putting myself in that shoes, like, bro, like, there's nothing anybody could tell me that would make me feel better. That loss is the like with that sort of loss, there's nothing no one can tell me, bro. <laughs> like Not if you tell me you out. tried, bro, I'll be like, oh, thanks, bro. Like, bro, but you see me, like I'm quiet, and that's what he was basically saying. like. There's people around, but like he's quiet, bro. You know what I mean, and that's why, in a way, like stepping into that ring, you got balls in it. I'll be honest, you mm. got you got balls. Cause well, me, the man, that's much bigger than him. I don't know. I think he's much bigger than him. From the picture I saw, he he wasn't like close. No, he I don't think, but. They weigh in, innit? So Yeah, what sort of I don't But know. then again, Tobes did not he landed a blow on him and he knocked him down, bro. So like obviously he's pa- he's packing a bit yeah, of a punch there, innit? I guess so. Do you know what I mean? But me personally, as much as I like boxing, my pride is just I think it's too much and I couldn't handle that, I'll be honest. I don't think I can handle that. Mentally I'll be like, right, nah, bro. Man knocked me out and on on camera, bro. Nah, bro. I just like it's just too much. It's actually too much. That's why I, I commend people that step into the ring, innit? Yeah, because that's what they're putting on the line every time. Mad. That's what it's they're putting on the line. I don't, I don't feel, huh? I said, no, nah, yeah, that's what they're putting on the line. I, need, oh, I haven't even booked a train. Have you sorted what you're wearing for tomorrow? No, you know. Bro, yeah. I need to even sort a hat out, bro. You haven't been to flipping. No, I ain't been to I didn't have no time. I don't have no it, time to. So what are you gonna do? Rough it out? Nah, my god, I'll try try back get a hat. Do you know what I mean? Bro, this is the first time on going on a holiday yeah, where like I've actually had to plan bare fits, bro. I said you plan bare, bro. <laughs> From the last conversation we had when I said I planned free, I don't think I planned the fourth one, fam, I'll be honest. No, nah, like bare my fits is just t shirt and sh- like shorts or shorts and vests, do you know what I mean? I still need to go and buy, buy some like white t shirts and all that. No, but like what I did was I just packed. I haven't even packed, but I've I've laid out maybe like four to five jeans that I know I can rotate. You have four to five jeans? I've got, I've got more than I've got, I've got like 12 or 13 jeans, bro. <laughs> How many jeans do you man have? No, you know, don't. Three. Huh? Yeah. Cap. Bro, that's not a cap. I'm what, like including cap. camos? No, they're not jeans. No, no, no. Just no. actual jeans. Just straight jeans. Yeah, I have like three. Bro, I have like... I know, I wouldn't want to have that many. I, I, ha- I want to have a rotation, just like a solid like five. Three? Yeah, yeah bro, 12, you only need like, uh, like some baggy ones. What colours do you have? I have grey, light blue. I only have... I only rock two of them, though. Those are only you see. I rotate between them. I need to get more. It's the ones you wore to recess. Do you remember them? Yeah, those are the great ones. The ones you wore to his R&B, they're the same pair. Those are the and those are the blue, blue the ones. light blue ones. Oh, yeah, okay. I need nice. more though. No, yeah, I don't. I definitely don't have twelve, but I definitely have like. I've got two. Not too many. I, I think I have max. No, I was meant to return one, but I didn't return any. So I have like three, three Actually, or four. four might have been a stretch. I it's think I have like three or four jeans, and then I have like two cargos, two or three cargos, bro. Like, I ain't really. I don't, uh, jeans is not my thing in there. I'm already trying to buy too many jeans, bro. In general or for the trip? <laughs> I ain't buying nothing for the trip again, bro. I bought uh, too much. But yeah, I've, I've, I laid out like maybe four jeans. I'm going to rotate that with all the tops that I've got. Bro, my shoe cleaning was £110, bro. Yeah, yeah. Sacrifice. I'm, at, I'm actually about to buy Air Forces again. Oh. I have two pairs of Air Forces in my house, bro. No. One in the boot. And I've won in bad, like, my staircase, bro. And the I'm about to snaps, buy another one. Nah, nah you, I don't think you should buy this, though. <laughs> See, I mean, I wore them twice, bro. Yeah, the crease is mad, though. Why is it so creased? Where did you know. go? I don't know. I don't know. My thing, my thing's normally last long. But me, I walk a bit different, though, with the forces, though. Yeah, your things last, bro. I'll be honest. Like, you can rock them tomorrow and be like, I'll be like, right, like, how do you like that, bro? Mine, gone. And I get a size down. I don't even know how it hurts me, so. like that. Si- oh no, do I get size down? I don't remember what size I get. No, I get size down. So. But flipping. Have you sorted out how you get into the airport, bruv? Oh, say, mum, you're not going to take me. Bro. No. 148. I have to sort that out, though. 148. Sky traveled, Fez. Who? Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah that's somewhere. 148, man. Let us know your thoughts about the shits and gigs situation in the comments. Let us know what you think. Still if you're a, if you're a black woman, let us know your thoughts on the joke or whatever that happened. Or about the people that aren't black that are watching. 
Um, you can let women know your thoughts as well, but like, it obviously applies more to black women, isn't it? So, but yeah, just let us know your thoughts on the situation. Yeah. Um, how you think they should have handled that. You know what I mean? If you agree with us, if you don't agree with us. Let us know if you would collab with them tomorrow as well. That's going to be the poll. Spotify. Yeah. Engage. Yeah, yeah let us know. Um, yeah. I think that's everything. Yeah, let us know how your, your Shaka was if you went. You might uh, even see some of you lot tomorrow. Hopefully see you lot there. Hopefully still. And yeah. What we say in pod? It's the TikTok with that good stuff. Yeah, bro, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your family. Other than that, T-Line and Bonnie Fence will come in. Thank you. It's been your boy, Hustle Hustler. Stay with the hustle, my people. Stay with it. It's been your boy, Benz on the beef. Sorry, guys. Ben I was lost. <laughs> I'll see. I will see you lot in the next one still. Thank you.